Hey there folks, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This week we're talking about your settings. Hey there, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This week we're talking about your settings in your story. And the reason why we're doing that is because your setting can actually be as important as the characters that you have developed. So choosing your setting shouldn't be taken lightly. Now, when I'm working on a new play, I like setting my story in a place that I emotionally and with my imagination want to spend some time in. And it's usually somewhere in the upper northeast. However, what we're talking about this week is the physical place where your characters will actually spend their time for the story. Now, when I get started with the play that I'm writing, I'll set it in a place that I want to spend some time in, but sometimes before the final draft, I'll change the location because sometimes the location will be better serving to the story. For instance, I wrote a play called Morning News, and I needed that to be in an area that was very agriculturally driven, and it needed to be very far away from New York, which is where my main character was coming from. So it was really kind of a fish out of water element. So I set the story in Colorado, Southeast Colorado, where there's plenty of farmland and it's very far and very different from New York City. So by setting my play in Southeast Colorado, it took my main character away from what he calls home. And that's what I needed to serve the story. But in addition to that, the entire play takes place in a newspaper office for a very small newspaper in that Southeast Colorado town. It's because my main character was a Broadway playwright and he's being forced to write for this newspaper. The reason I did that is because now my physical setting serves as a demeaning environment, at least in his eyes, for my main character. The other reason I put so much thought into my settings is because sometimes the settings can actually add more adversity to your main character. So that actually draws the reader or draws the viewer, or draws your audience member into the story a little bit more when they know that where the person lives is actually working against their goal. Now, going back to the example of the play Morning News that I wrote, the Broadway playwright is writing for the small town newspaper and he's trying to get fired. So he starts writing falsehoods and a lot of satire that he thinks is just going to upset the readers and get him fired. But instead, it works against him because the area, since I chose that as my setting, is so desperate and hungry for entertainment, they love his stories. They find them super hilarious and the readership actually goes up because he's trying to sabotage the newspaper. So that's just an example where the geographical setting, the culture of that area, and the physical setting is actually working against my main character. Another thing I'd like you to think about is how your setting can help your main character to learn. Learn about a different culture, learn about a different trade, something, because that actually helps your viewer or your reader relate to that character. A big example of that is Dances with Wolves. If you've seen the movie or read the book, obviously that main character was set into this Native American land and clearly he got immersed into it and he learned about their culture and it changed who he was. So not only did the geographical setting help set up this character arc for the main character in Dances with Wolves, but also the physical setting did as well. For instance, your story could take place on a lake, in a boat, or a boathouse. Or maybe it's sitting on a poolside vacation. Maybe it takes place in an underground cabaret. Maybe weather is a consideration and could play a character in itself. Or maybe a concert venue. Or maybe it's taking a long road trip. That's right. Maybe you have multiple settings in your story and lends itself to being a road trip. Now, of course, it doesn't end there. Maybe your character goes to a foreign country and doesn't speak the language. Maybe you have a scene or a chapter in your story that takes place in a public place rather than a private place because that kind of setting would prevent one of the characters from having a major public freakout. All I'm saying is that the setting you choose can create a character in itself. It can create adversity for your main characters or supporting characters, and it can also drive your plot forward. Here's some suggestions just to get your creative juices flowing.
So let me say it once again, consider a setting that might help drive your plot forward and actually create some adversity for characters and actually enhance the story rather than just being a place for it to happen. If you choose the right setting, it could actually help you write much faster and make things flow a lot easier. However, don't be afraid to change the setting after you have everything written. Sometimes when I've come to my final draft, I've actually changed the setting entirely just because it lended itself to making the story more dynamic. Your setting can be just as important as one of your characters, so make sure you do your homework for that as well. This is Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hey there, folks. As promised, we have a new contest period for the next two months. For this contest, what I'd like you to do is write a three-sentence story to go along with the photo that I'm about to show you. And this photo is really weird. Okay, so send in your three sentence story to go along with that picture and all the entries will be put into a raffle and if your name is drawn in that raffle, you'll get a free copy of one of my stage plays. Which stage play are we gonna offer this time? Dadly Intentions. Dadly Intentions, it's the only musical I've ever written. It's actually very funny and if you wanna learn a little bit more about it, where can they go? BenFarrellWriter.com. BenFarrellWriter.com. So that's it. Go ahead and get those entries in. I appreciate you hanging out with us. This is Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. And stay safe and keep watching our videos. Keep watching those videos. Bye.